Okay. Hi everyone, Gerald again for Langston Motorsports Tech Tip. Today is more of a showcase than a tech tip. This is the VHM Middle Inertia Crankshaft. Now, what are the benefits of this? Everybody always asks, what's the benefits? So the benefits of this is machined out of billet. So it's easier to get the balance correct as opposed to something that's, that's cast. Um, the, tolerance are, the tolerances are tighter. What they've also done is they've, they've after they've balanced it, they've, to get the crankcase pressure back in, they've put a lightweight stuffers so your, your crankcase pressure is better. Now, what's the difference between a low inertia, a middle inertia, and a high inertia? I think the best way to describe that is the, the less weight you have, the more it'll spin quickly, but the less of a four-stroke feel, like a torquey feel, you'll have. High inertia is going to spin very fast, low inertia is going to have um, more torque, grunt, hookup. Let me try and explain the inertia um, a little bit better. Um, for argument's sake, if you had very little weight in, in your crank, the engine would, would rev up very quickly. But if you got into a sandy situation, it would also, it would also drop the rev, revs off very quickly. On the other extreme, if you had a big crank, it wouldn't rev as quickly, but when you got into a, a heavy situation, the inertia would, would keep it going through. Our customer on this crank has decided to go for the middle inertia, so he's gone for, for a little bit of high rev and a little bit of torque. He sacrificed a little on both sides. It's your choice. You might be wondering why I'm wearing rubber gloves today. The reason is that your hands sweat, and in that sweat there's acid, so if I were to touch this crank, I would actually leave um, like rust marks, fingerprint rust marks on it. So this, this is going to go to a customer, I don't want him to have my fingerprints all over it.